So this particular model has five bolts. The two outside and then one suck up underneath the, uh, the anode that we removed. The washers are seated in there where it's really tough to get out. So, But you want to make sure you grab the washers because they always tend to roll. Yeah, people are going to be like, oh, that's the greatest idea. Bungee cords and the broomstick. <laughs> Let's get this bolt out of here. And I could kind of tell that the gear case is not going to fall right off at this angle, but there's a lot of corrosion. Here's the other mounting bolt. Tell this, it hasn't been done in a while. The grease is really, it's corroded. And it's got a lot of sand in it. You gotta be pretty gentle with these because if you get like a mallet that's a little too heavy, you will break the, you will break the, the, the anti-ventilation plate. Pair of needle nose ready to hand because there's going to be a uh, there's going to be a speedo tube that's connected to a quick connect. This is where I'll start to pry it off a little bit. This is another reason why you should always do your your service every every three every three years or 300 hours is because the corrosion, especially these Verados, will com work will compromise you on getting it off. Sometimes they'll freeze, and that's why manufacturers want you to do it every three years so you don't have any problems. See this? So you just push it down. I'm not pinching it yet. Push it down, pinch, and roll it out. Hold it down, pinch, roll it out, and work it out. There you go. When it gets to a certain point, you get it right out. But if you pull it completely out, you'll pop that out and have problems. So I remove the Speedo tube. Pull it out straight. You can also see that it's due too, because this collar, see how it's cracked. It should, it should, uh, should be completely spongy too, and it's hard as a rock. Love using the impact, especially with these little bolts that Mercury loves using. I got it on low setting. This one's coming off real nice. There it goes. Awesome. I've reused those. Certain kits come with everything. Some co kits come with. Depends on what you get. So, but there's your impeller which everything looks really good. So we won't have to do an entire impeller. We're just going to do an impeller kit. Some, some kits come with the housing, the, uh, the bearing carrier seals, which is this, but everything looks good. There's no oil showing. And plus the, uh, the gear lube was nice and nice and black. There was no condensation. So we know for this, for this particular setup, it's, it's all, uh, it's all in place. It's in good shape. Everything looks good on this. Cool. So the next step I'm doing is I'm, I'm installing the water pump kit. So this is the this is just the impeller kit. That's a pretty uh pretty standard kit for mercury. Pretty much 99% of the mercury's use that. See, and there's there's here's where the seals are. Those the drain and fill seals come with this kit, and there's that collar. Um, and the, and these are for the uh, for the coupler which is tucked up underneath there for the water pump tube. And there's some, sometimes there's extra parts for other models. They're so close, you can only, it only goes on one way. So just trying to use the old one to line it up, which, which side's the top. So what I, I usually grab the old one and see how it lines up. Now you know which, this is the top and that's the bottom of the old one. So I'm gonna put this right here. Just make sure they all lined up perfect. You always want to make sure you put this put put the plate and the gaskets on first. I'll put just just for keepsake, just to hold it there nicely. I'll put a little of the 
2,4-C grease, and I'll put that there to hold it. And then uh, impeller goes on where that slot is. Doesn't matter which way. And it goes right on there, just like that. And always, always uh, re-grease your, your, your bolts. So the next time it comes out, it'll be just as easy they, they, they came out the first time. So, so once I get this on, I'm gonna line it up. I'll show you how, to, how I line them up. They have like a special tool to put in there to line it up, but we'll, we'll show you how I always do it. I always use a paper towel to grab onto, grab onto the drive shaft and I'll hold on to it because you get a good grip this way and push down and turn clockwise. That's on, that's on every, every gear case. And then I'll, I'll lift it up just a touch just so I can shift these, shift these gaskets and this plate back where it belongs. Get it close, grab a driver or, or a screwdriver or a pick just to, Get it right where you want it, close to the holes. And you can see all four holes will line up for us. You don't want to put anything, you don't want to put too much pressure and compromise the threads either. So, but we're all sitting there now. And I don't go all the way in with one, I just start it. And then I'll go to the next one, start them all. Once I got them all started, everything's lined up. Torque, light setting on the torque. If you have an adjustable drill, or just good, good and tight, not too tight, and the small bolts with the with the wrench, with the wrench. Um, and one of the most important things that you really don't want to forget is this collar. This collar washer. It really, it holds the water in for the, for, for the water. So when the water pump's pumping, it doesn't escape out of here. It's all going out through this hole that supplies the water tube. Push down, let it flat, and there we go. We're all set. Getting this, getting this gear case back on, you really want to prep. You really want to prep up these studs. You don't want to have any buildup. Because it will be, it will be hard to, hard to fight. So what I'll do is I'll give it a good grease on each one of these. Just so next time we take it off in three years or 300 hours, it won't be so, it'll be nice and, nice and easy. It'll come off. So I took off the side cowling to access this shift shaft because this shift shaft floats a little bit. Can you see that? It floats a little bit, so you'll have to finagle it just to line up perfect so you can get the gear case back on because it won't, it, won't, uh, it won't line up, it won't line up just perfect. The drive shaft comes on first, it will line up. And then the shift shaft lines up after, after you get the, sh the, the, the splines for the drive shaft lined up. So I'll give a good, some grease on this here too. I'm, I'm equipped with, uh, I got the, the nut and the washer and a needle nose to put the uh, Speedo tube back in and uh, we can give it a shot. comes first. There we go. Just 
little finagle. Now we got the bolts lined up. And then right there. All right. Now I'm going to come back down just a little bit since I got the splines lined up for the drive shaft. And I'm going to connect this speedo tube. There we go. Now I got the splines lined up. It should go right in and put pressure in one hand here. Now I'm going to try to work this shift shaft in. That's lined up. And then I just uh, put the washer and the nut on as much as I can on this side. You don't want to, you want everything to slide in perfect. There's no forcing this. Because if it doesn't line up and you torque on those bolts, it's something major will, will, uh, will give, it'll break.